intro the vlog, intro the vlog. Like, no, do I need to? Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Audrey. Oh my God. And I don't normally have a ghost here, but the wind is just going absolutely insane. Anyway, today we're just gonna... Did I just break my... T Sorry. I think I most definitely have ADHD and just... I have a call with my psychiatrist in a few days. Maybe she can help me out. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding at all. I think I have ADHD and I have trouble doing everyday tasks, but maybe that's a conversation for another video. So, today we are going to do a little day in my life vlog. It's 12.39. I've been up since 8.45. I don't think I've gotten anything done. Actually, no. I made a thumbnail. I posted a TikTok. I posted an Instagram story. <laughs> the fact that I'm like, wow, I really got stuff done today. No, I haven't gotten anything done. I was like very anxious, so I was like gonna go to the gym, but then I didn't go to the gym, I'm gonna go now. And then at 3.30, we have my lip filler appointment. If you guys have not watched my lip filler vlog, you should definitely check it out. I will put it up here somewhere. If you're ever interested in getting lip filler, definitely check that video out or just continue watching this one because I'm gonna talk all about it and you know, my experience because I'm just gonna do a day in my life and then continuing this week, I will do a week in my life and show you like the aftermath of lip fillers and like the before and after. This is what they look like before. And this is what it looks like when it's smiling. Super cute, love. And yeah, so the last time that I got my lips filled was around this time last year actually, I think. And they still have volume from last year, but last year I had two almost full syringes in my lips. So of course it's still here, of course it's still here. It actually does last really long though, but I'm probably, I don't know how much we're gonna get in there today. I Probably not a full syringe today, maybe like 0.6. I feel like that's what I'm thinking, 0.6, yeah. And then at the follow-up, we can maybe add the rest if I feel like it's necessary. But I definitely don't think I want to get the full syringe today, but God knows that Dr. Weissar will probably put the full syringe in my lip. And then I'll be like, Oh my God, no. I didn't want all the syringe. And then once they go down, I'll be like, I wanted the full syringe. So, you know, that's just kind of how it goes. But yes, you always will have a little bit of anxiety with your lip fillers because you're gonna think, oh my God, they're too big, they're too big. And then they completely go down and you're like, oh my God, who is she? So yeah, I was just watching Rachel. Hi Rachel, you're beautiful, I love you. But yeah, I've done nothing. So we are gonna go to the gym. <laughs> wow, I do so much. No, I'm just kidding. I actually think I do a lot. But yeah, what we're gonna do at the gym is just walk on the treadmill because that's what I've been doing. After getting filler, you can't do rigorous exercise for a few days. So I was like, I might as well just get like one workout in like before I go. After that period, I might try to do like a 12, 3, 30 challenge where I like do it every day for a certain amount of time. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Comment down below and let me know if that's something you would be interested in. That's pretty much all I've been doing. I worked out like, I guess like four times last week week and just did that but that's me going from literally not working out for an entire semester oh my god this trash truck is so loud but it's me going from basically not working out oh my god it's so loud but it's basically me going from completely not working out at all last semester to completely working out so i think that it's a good thing because it's going to show you know how my body changes and how i feel from not doing anything to doing something like 100 percent if that makes sense sometimes i don't put it at the 12 incline and sometimes i don't put it all the way up to three and sometimes i do more i'll do 12 and then 3.5 when I'm feeling really uh, motivated and listening to the Euphoria soundtrack, then you know, it gets me going. So let me know if you would be interested in that. I think it would be a fun video to make, but also I get busy, so there's times when, you know, I can't make it to the gym for a certain day, but you know, we can still try it anyway. All right, I'm gonna change and then we will go to the gym. Okay, I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, the outfit's on. So I'm wearing this set from Free People. It looks a little different on camera, to be honest with you. It's not this, like, peachy. Also, side note, look how cute my new bag is. She's so pretty. I got it for 
my graduation for myself. I bought it for myself for my graduation. So yeah, she's cute. We love her. It's super pretty. Um, yeah, I really like this bag. Okay, Jim, 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 Jim. I got. I always gotta. I gotta remember what I'm up to. What am I doing? Guys, my hair. Sometimes I really just wonder, like, are other people this like discombobulated 24 seven? Or is it just me? Like, and I'm not even trying to be like quirky. Like, I'm just more like, ah, like, do I need some like help? Like, if you think so, comment yes. Like, how did, I just got, I just got distracted. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where are my sneakers? I need my sneakers. Before I tell you what I was gonna tell you, how sick is this Jeep? Whoa, that is such a cool Jeep, love. Anyway, I had this thought to myself. I was like, I wonder if you're allowed to work out right before getting lip fillers because I'm sure that it gets your blood pumping, which isn't good, like you don't want that when you're getting fillers and everything if you don't wanna you know, bruise or swell a lot. Um, so I decided to Google it. The first thing it says is do not exercise the day that you're getting lip fillers. Um, so I'm on my way back home now. My mom will be happy, she can use my car now. Yeah, I guess I didn't really think that through, but I, I'm glad I thought it through before I went and worked out. But yeah, so note, don't exercise the day that you're getting your lip fillers. Cause I'm also trying to reduce the swelling as much as possible. To be honest with you, if I didn't have stuff like coming up, I probably wouldn't really care that much, but I have a big audition that I need to film. Like it's due later in June, but I want to get it in as soon as I can because we're going down the shore for a week. So I want to film it before I go down the shore. I want to be able to film at least sometime this week, but yeah. I'm gonna go inside now. Maybe I'll post my grad vlog because that needs to be posted. So if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. It's really sad, but it's a really fun week. We had fun and it's wholesome. So now that I am home from the gym, I am making an English muffin with smoked salmon and then some bone broth. And you might be like, oh my God, like bone broth? Like that's because of your gut health? Like, Yeah, I mean, I guess it is good for that, but um, I just really like soup. I really like broth. Broth is like my favorite part of soup, so I really like it. Okay, now I'm just gonna edit a little Instagram reel that I filmed uh, at Springhouse Derm. Hey, I'm so bad. I love like editing like in my bed. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. It's like laying on my heat pad. Best thing ever. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. Okay, my appointment's at 3.30, it's 3.19, but I'm gonna make a little elixir of some pineapple juice and water to chug before I go. Oh, we only have wine glasses, that's fine. Oh, I almost dropped the pineapple juice. Okay, add some water. Okay, cheers. My lips are gonna look so pretty. Also, if you didn't know, when you get lip fillers, don't take any blood thinners. Advil's one of the big things, and I take Advil like it's my job. So, yeah, don't take it. This is difficult. Yay, we're here. Look at the balloons from the other day. Numbing is on. I don't like the numbing. It feels awful. <laughs> it doesn't feel awful, but it doesn't feel good. And it numbs your tongue, which is so annoying. I'm gonna not talk, because when I talk, it gets on my tongue. Okay. If you don't like needles, skip to this time. It's so funny. Um, yeah. Perfect. So just <laughs> we're having burgers and bacon burgers. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay. You guys are not we're matching my bacon vibe. Cheeseburgers. Woohoo! We're going to Giant. Should I grab one of these here? Thomas, watch out. 
What is that? A guacamole blend. What? That is so weird. Maybe to put in guacamole? I don't know. Maybe. Ooh, a pool noodle. Chip witches, cookies and cream, drumsticks. I love these. These are like my favorite, the haagen bars. I like the dark chocolate one, but I really do love the one that has the almonds and stuff. The fact that when I was younger, I used to eat fish sticks really does not sit well in my stomach. I used to eat those. Yes. Ew, web, ow. Oh my God. You were rolling it, what do you mean? Turned it around. Yeah, you rolled it over your foot. Oh wait, look, this one's sea salt caramel crunch. I want that one instead of these. Just get the haagen No, No, these are 140 calories. Do you think this will be good? I don't know. Ooh, I wanna get my oat milk creamer. I haven't had it. Totally. They're not very good. Yeah. They all they taste, taste the like same. No, no, they all awful. taste the same. Yeah. Yeah. You want we don't get cones, cones here, no. No, I don't think so. I don't think okay. we need ice cream cones. Right, so we got a lot of stuff. Dogs, why we need them, why they need us. Just bought a scratch off, might never have to work a day in my life again. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, it was a joke, a joke. Wait, let's do it. I have a dime, would that work? Penny, a nickel, would you hold your horses and let me get the dart off? A dime! We're in the money, we've got a lot of what it takes to get along. Am I supposed to just stay here? Yeah, while I scratch off. It's amazing how much money you can spend. It is. I was at Sephora today. Nothing. Say, we just donated five dollars. Yep, we donated five dollars to the Pennsylvania Lottery. Benefiting older Pennsylvanians. Does it really? The Pope? Oh. Okay, so to finish off this vlog, I'm gonna watch Selling Sunset. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out something else to watch other than TikTok. So that seemed like a, uh, a decent option in some way. I don't really think it's the best option. But before we do that, I'm going to unbox my Princess Polly and Nasty Gal order. This Nasty Gal order is humongous. Like, I don't even know what I ordered. We have another order from Princess Polly. So my pretty, pretty, what? My Princess Polly code is just Audrey and you can get 20% off, so definitely use that code. I will link all of these items down below for you guys. I'm not sure what my Nasty Gal code is yet, so I'll fill you guys in when I know that, but I don't know right now. Unboxing, okay, let's do Princess Polly first. All right, ready? Ah! Ooh, I got this hair clip. Ooh, oh no, my camera's gonna die. I got this orange hair clip. Oh, that's a good clip. You can tell by like how hard it is to open it because that's how hard it closes on your hair. Right? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's one of those tube dresses. So if you guys have seen on their website, they have these really cute little tube dresses. How cute is that? It's like an oatmeal color. Wow, love. Next up we have, oh, I, oh! This is a mock neck top, but it has like the underwire. Can you see that? So similar to like mirror play, this is definitely like probably like a uh, knockoff mirror play top, but yeah. High neck. I will try these on for my TikTok, so definitely go follow me on there if you are not following me already. Next I got this shirt that like everybody has. I had it in brown, but I never wore it, so I gave it away, but I got it in orange because I know that I'll wear the orange. I know, silly, silly, silly me. Okay, next, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a dress. It's like this little black dress. I thought it was so cute. Look at the like lace detailing. I just thought it was really cute. It's like a baby doll. So yeah, love that. Wow, I did good picks for this month, I think. Next up we have, I'm a little confused with it. Oh, so this is like a sleeve that goes like, like across, like you put the sleeves on and then you put this on like your boobs. Okay, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out and get back to you guys. Okay, next up is this green dress that I think is going to be so cute. I ordered it in a six instead of a four because I did not want it to be small. That was like, that's like my pet peeve if I try something on and it's small. At least if it's big, I can get it tailored, you know? So it is this green little like bustier dress. I thought it would be so cute for the summer. And yeah, that's what it looks like. We will see what it looks like on, but it looks like it'll probably fit pretty well, especially since my boobs. So, you know, okay. Looks like there's something 
in here. I think I got sunglasses. Could you imagine if I just threw this out? <laughs> I did, I did get sunglasses. Ooh, ooh. They look like this. They're cool, very trendy. I mean, I don't know if they'll be very stylish next year, but pretty cute now. I might save the Nasty Gal haul for like another vlog, like later this week or something, because I don't know if I feel like dirtying up my room more. <laughs> So stay tuned for the Nasty Gal haul. Next I got these like suit pants. I have similar ones from Aritzia that are white and I also have them in black, but I don't have them in tan. So I was like, you know what? Let's give these Princess Polly ones a try. And I mean, obviously I know my size in Princess Polly and everything. So hoping that they work pretty well and then I won't have to, you know, spend a ton of money on the Aritzia ones because these are great quality, so. Got this top. You can't really tell what it looks like. That top from like cider that you see all over like Instagram ads, but cuter and one color and not orange and white striped. You know what I'm talking about as soon as I specified all of those things. <laughs> Maybe you don't, I don't know. So this last one is like this cover up. I mean, you could just wear it as a cover up, but also wear it like with like white bottoms and a white bralette. But it's this little dress, this little mini dress. I think it would be really, really cute to just wear like a white bikini underneath it. And I think, you know, you could probably kind of wear that out if you're trying to look a little risque, but yeah. I think that's pretty much it for the Princess Polly order. And yeah, we'll do the Nasty Gal unboxing another day. I am just like not feeling great. I like all of a sudden feel like I like have a fever. So I don't know what to do about that. I might just, you know, I might, I might give up on selling Sunset and I might just watch TikToks and then go to bed. I should probably wash my face though. Yeah, I should definitely wash my face. Oh, you guys, I'm tired. Why am I so tired? I don't know if I ate enough today. So that could be the culprit. And that's never good. So I should probably be more on top of that and figure that out. Ooh. Ooh. I think it is time for me to go wash my face and get ready for, uh, hello? Oh, I guess I can bring you guys with me for that. <laughs> sure, sure, we can do that. If you guys want, if you guys are interested um, in my nighttime skincare, sure. We can do that. Okay, so for my cleanser, I either use the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser, or I use my Globiotics Probiotic Face Wash. This is the Probiotic Revitalizing Cleanser. I'm thinking we go Globiotics tonight. So let's get it going. Guys, my head hurts. You also have to be careful around your lip fillers for the first like weak, ooh, that hurt. Like just the way I said weak hurt my lips. And you have to just make sure you're not getting too much blood circulation to that area because then you will get a bruise. Why that light is just so hard. So now I'm gonna use my DMK beta gel. I get this from at Esthetician Jess on Instagram. Well, actually, this is before I knew that Jess carried this. So I actually got this from a woman named Lazy Skincare on Instagram, or L-A-Z, or Laz Skincare. I don't know how you say it. I think her name is Laziza. So I would say Lay's skincare, I think is what you would say, or lazy, I don't know. But I got this from her because she also sells DMK products. I got this one from Lazy Skincare and this one from Jess. This is the beta gel. Then these are the Milano Tech Drops. So I basically make like a little skincare elixir and I use either this Beauty Bio, uh, the Quench Crodule, Hello? I either use this Beauty Bio the Quench Quadrilipid Moisturizer. I like using this during the day because the glow is just so pretty. Whereas like, I'm just like, at night, like why do, I don't really need a glow while I'm asleep. But yeah, so I'm gonna use instead of that, I mean, it, but this also gives you a nice glow too, so I don't really, <laughs> I'm not making sense. The math is not mathing. This is the Luxe Cream from New Visions, which is the line by Springhouse Derm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit right there, can we see? Okay, I'm gonna put this in my hand like that. Put a pump of the beta gel. It's raining. Do you hear the rain? It smells like summer rain. Ugh, love it. And then just lots of drops. And then I mix it all up. Put it on my face. 
So guess what's something that I learned at Springhouse Durham last week? I met this girl, her name was... Allie, I think her name was Allie. But I met this girl named Allie and she was the representative for Elastin Skincare. If you guys haven't heard of it, you should definitely check it out. But Springhouse Derm obviously carries a few different skincare lines of products. And Elastin doesn't have like a ton of different products, but the ones that they do have are like really good. And I didn't know, I was like, I've never heard of this brand. I didn't know about it. McKenna at Springhouse Derm, who I like trust with my life. She was like, Audrey, you just need to go talk to her. Just chat with her, see if you like any of the products. They're some of my favorite products and I was like, okay. So I like went and chatted with her. She was like, okay, like what, tell me about like your skincare routine and we'll see if we, if there's any holes that we can fill. And she was like, well, I can definitely see that. Oh shit, I forgot to put my hyaluronic acid on. It's fine, we can do that another day. She's like, do you have an eye cream? And I was like, no. And I was wondering, do you need eye cream? She's like, well, you know, a lot of eye creams don't work, but our eye cream is a really great one. I mean, obviously I'm like saying that cause like I'm biased, but like, I don't know, ask any of them. And I was like, okay, well let me like try it out. And I felt it and I was like, okay, it feels nice. And then McKenna was like, what are you getting? Like, are you getting anything? And I was like, I think I'm gonna get the eye cream. And she was like, it's the only eye cream that works. It's like literally the only eye cream that works. She's like, like other than the ones that like we sell, I think that that's like literally the only eye cream that works in the entire world. So I was like, wow, cool, okay. So I got this. That's actually so weird because I was looking at a video of myself today and I was like, wow, like my under eyes look good. It almost looks like I got under eye filler because I obviously got the lip filler today. So I'm like thinking to myself about filler and I was like, it's like I got under eye filler. So I think it's because of this. This is the Elastin Restorative Eye Treatment. But I'll put Allie's at right here and I think that you can order the products through her or there might be a website, I'm not really sure, but amazing. And then also I said to her, well, one thing that I really worry about is my jawline and like my skin like sagging here and my tech neck because obviously I sit on my phone watching and watching TikToks and editing videos and all the things. And I was like, I feel like I like have like etched in lines here. And she was like, I don't really think they're bad. And I was like, well, I do. And she's like, okay. And I was like, do I need a neck cream? Like, or can I just use my regular moisturizer? And she was like, well, I mean, it's a different type of skin on your neck. I was like, Wait, what? She's like, yeah, that's why like there are certain things that are made specifically for the neck because your neck is different because your neck does not have sebaceous glands. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. It might be different for men because you know how some guys like their beard like grows down to their neck. So I feel like you have to have sebaceous glands where you have hair. But yeah, she was like, no, we don't have sebaceous glands on our neck. So you need something different to take care of the skin on your neck. And I was like, that makes a lot of sense. So yeah, so then she gave me a little trial size of their neck cream and I have also been liking that a lot too Like I'm not getting paid for any of this I'm just telling you guys how I've been feeling and I mean you can obviously tell like my skin has been doing better than it has been in the past so we love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, you know what I also really want to try soon are these Saint Tropez tan drops. They sent them to me and I'd love to try them. I'm not big into tan drops though, but if it's with their like Lux tan line, they might be pretty good. But today I'm not going to put on any like acne medicine because I don't want to dry out my lips more than they already are because they do get a little dry because they're so like puffy and puffed out. It's exposed to more air than it normally is. I think that's why it gets that way. But anyway, it's really... I think I might've been wearing like the wrong contacts or something because I can see so well now i couldn't see the camera even when i was coming close this up close either my eyes have gotten so much worse or i accidentally put in my mom's contacts that have no prescription and for reference i am a plus 4.5 yeah so i can't see um and i guess i couldn't see today <laughs> Awesome. I'm gonna try one of these Yasso bars so you guys don't have to. Okay, they feel quite small. It's in my hand like that. I'm gonna eat my Yasso bar before I uh, put on that lip stuff I told you guys about. Or actually, I'll just tell you guys about it so I don't have to like forget. 
<laughs> it's called Image Skincare or Medic Sheer Pink Lip Enhancement Complex. This is the description. It's a universal rosy tint that enhances your lips appearance, formulated with polypeptide complex to help improve the appearance of fullness, avocado oil, and vitamin E nourish and help to retain moisture. It's basically just the best little lip gloss slash mask that you could ever use. Better than any lip mask, any lip gloss. It is better than any of them. You can fight me all you want on it. I've tried them all. This is the best one I've ever used. I really recommend this one and I will link it down below. I think it's like 20 bucks, but so unbelievably worth it. Like you don't need a lot either. So it's not like you're like gonna go through the bottle in a very short amount of time. Let's give this Yasso a try. The outside chocolate part is good. It's really good, you guys. The frozen yogurt inside, really good. Well, highly, highly recommend. Thank you guys for spending the day with me. Let me know what videos you guys would like to see, if there's anything in particular you're wondering about, wanna hear about, any kind of like story times. I don't know, if you want some sit down videos, let me know. I can try to provide you guys with those if you just let me know what you want. Sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, I could do a video about that, but I don't know if you guys would like it, so I just don't do it. Not bad. But like, let me know what you would like, because then I can just be like, well, they said they wanted it, so what are you gonna do, you know? All right, see you guys next time.